Hello everyone, uh, my name is Pranit Kulkarni uh, and I'm pursuing Master of Science in Computer Science here at Stevens Institute of Technology. Uh, I started uh, my master's in uh, spring semester of 2017 and I will be graduating in this December, that's December 2018. Uh, back in India, uh, I did my bachelor's in information technology from PICT Pune. Initially, I decided to go for fall 2016 semester and I decided like uh, one year, not even one year, like uh, uh, almost uh, 10 to 12 months, uh, ten, around around 10 months before that. I, I had plans for applying for MS, but due to some reasons, I had to uh, rush doing it. And uh, later I deferred my admission uh, for some reasons. Uh, and uh, the reason, primary reason for coming for, to, for, for the masters here uh, was uh, better job opportunities and maybe um, right now in engineering, especially computer science, it has become quite mandatory to have uh, dual degrees and especially masters. Otherwise, uh, it becomes difficult to probably grow in your career in future. So that was the main reason I decided to uh, come for masters in the USA. Uh, so I began my university research. Uh, I had done a bit during my engineering, like some casual research when like what I will do. But uh, I started it properly, uh, I guess, in uh, November or December of 2015. I, I was actually late in doing all these things and I couldn't dedicate a lot of time because I was busy working and uh, I was, I guess, more focused on working. Uh, so I did a lot of research, especially on Yocket. And uh, since I was busy building Yocket app as well that time, so uh, that helped me a bit in like while building and reading about it. And the team overall was also very helpful with that. Um, so, uh, along with uh, Yocket, uh, uh, I did research on their own websites, uh, contacted a few seniors whom I knew are already here from my college. And um, and I also had joined uh, a class back when I was in engineering. So I even approached them uh, to help me in uh, selecting some universities. And um, taking all, all this into account, I selected some universities that I felt uh, will be good for me. And as for uh, other seniors and everyone's advice. Uh, for GRE, I, I had started my preparation uh, when I was in third year in, in engineering. So I, uh, mostly I worked uh, a lot on uh, verbal because I was confident uh, I can score good marks in con and I also did. So I had to focus a lot on uh, verbal. For verbal, uh, I did a lot of work on uh, especially the uh, words, uh, GRE words. It was difficult for me to re uh, remember the words, uh, but uh, I work, uh, I used the Magush app, which was really helpful, and uh, other books like Nova and uh, even Manhattan's books uh, and GR ETS official books, which has uh, GRE test as well, were quite helpful for me to prepare for GRE. And especially for Con, Manhattan File B was the most useful book, uh, I guess. So I got admits from uh, Stevens, uh, Sunny Binghamton, uh, NJIT. And uh, I had a pending view from South Florida, so uh, sorry USF. Uh, so uh, uh, from all the admits, I decided Stevens primarily for two reasons. Uh, one was the uh, ROI, which is return on investment uh, rate uh, that's really high here in Stevens, and also the location. Uh, even Binghamton has a good location, which is not very far from New York, uh, New York City. Uh, but Stevens had a really good location, which I thought will be really useful uh, for getting internships during the uh, semester. And uh, overall, uh, I saw that the ranking of Stevens and uh, review from seniors were better uh, for getting jobs. And ultimately, that's the goal. Like we need to get jobs so that we can recover our money. And the difference uh, between the fees uh, was, yes, the Stevens fees was really high as compared to other universities. But um, I believe that if you can uh, invest and you can get, uh, if you can uh, get the returns uh, quite good, 
then it's one and the same so um, that's why i decided stevens or uh, other other admits so the most important thing about visa interview was uh, the, like people scare you a lot about the interview and i guess that's the main thing that actually takes you down and you start worrying about it a lot it's natural uh, but since i uh, i was working on yakert and uh, i had a lot of resources where i could actually find that people uh sharing their uh, visa interviews on your kid on even on the facebook group of uh, ms in us so that was really helpful and i actually got to know that uh, if you actually be yourself and uh, stay calm throughout the interview you can easily crack it my interview was like i, I don't think so you, it was even for a minute they just uh, asked two questions and uh, if you actually give it confidently they won't even ask you a lot in details so that's the main thing that you need to be calm and uh, not worry about it a lot think about it a lot just be prepared be yourself and mainly don't recite your answers because if you go there and you try to remember anything you probably won't won't be able to do that because you see people getting rejected in front of you before your interview comes so that's usually a challenging part there are a lot of rumors between um, fall and spring semester which one is better spring is not so good better wait for fall uh, i guess it depends a lot on the university you have finalized or you want to go to uh, because uh, it varies a lot as per some university rules like uh, one thing that uh, is i guess will be common for all the spring students uh, is uh, since uh, getting a job Uh, an internship is really important like if you get an internship it's easy to get a full time job to get an internship you should be eligible to one summer and when you come in uh, spring sem- semester that's basically january you are not eligible in the uh, summer of that the same year because you haven't completed two semesters uh, in us and that's the rule that you cannot do uh, you cannot work unless you complete two semesters or 12 months something like that so uh, when you come in spring basically the first year like if you come for me i came in 2017 or spring till december 2017 basically i couldn't work uh, but if you come in fall like if you come in august you you can immediately start applying for the summer internships because you are eligible for the next summer because you will be completing two semester that's the main difference uh, that i saw uh, was between fall and spring intake um other than that i don't think so there is any other difference because like in, especially in stevens um no one even cared if you are from fall intake or spring intake like doesn't even matter in the class there are people from really different sectors like different intakes uh some are undergraduate some are graduates and things like that so no one even cares when you came the only thing is about the work authorization thing but then what you can do is if you extend like in case, uh, some people uh, complete the masters in 3 semesters but if you do it in 4 uh, you do get another summer and i actually got like 3 semesters uh, uh, like the summer uh, and 2 semesters where i could actually do an internship so that actually helped me in uh, getting set like settling here in the, uh, the us and the culture getting to know and by the time i was actually more prepared like if i w- i would have started in fall i guess the first semester i wouldn't be prepared to even go for interviews and all those things so i guess i had an advantage of being in spring i got on campus job first so uh, initially i got a job in uh, the payroll department of same which was a kind of a desk job and uh, where i had to do management of the, like the management stuff in their office and um, after that i got a teaching assistantship and an internship together so um like in the spring of 2018 i was actually doing kind of three jobs at at in one month so it was like on campus job for some time then the teaching assistantship as well and i also had the part time internship which was going along with the semester so that was really hectic but uh, i could fund my monthly expenses uh, by that and that was really use- useful so i had two internships uh, doing my masters so one was uh, a startup uh, appetizer mobile which is a uh, advertising firm here in new york city uh, it was uh, an internship in mobile application development um, 
um, I got it uh, well the job portals. I don't exactly remember which portal it was. Uh, it was a part time internship, twenty hours per week because that was what I was eligible for. And uh, during that internship, I got an offer from Barclays Bank, at, uh, which was located in Times Square. So uh, that was the summer internship, and uh, after the summer internship, I also got a full time offer from them. uh which which i will be able to join after my masters and uh, i got this internship uh, by uh, on uh, applying online on their website uh, they do come to stevens for the information sessions but there is no directly link between like you can't be able to do uh, apply from stevens or via stevens or like that you have to ap- apply on their uh, uh, online portal and that's how i got the job so my advice for everyone will be uh, do think about uh, do think about everything uh, like um, whenever you apply for a university or you decide to go for an university think about uh, not just the like i have seen some people just focusing on the fees like the tuition fees is low so that that's where i should go uh, but but you should also think about how uh, you know how much efforts you will have to put to get the uh investment bank because that is very important um also look for uh, things like what companies are around uh, and uh, what's the overall culture in the university like if uh, do they prefer more undergrads or graduates and like there are some universities where uh, graduates and undergraduates have equal preference so there it can become even more competitive for you to get jobs because then when there is a career fair or things like that uh, universities come and hey, sorry the companies come and uh, you may only have 5 to 10 companies out of 100 which are actually uh, sponsoring your visa so things like that should also be taken into account other things you can get a lot on your kit like while i was uh, actually preparing for my masters um and what your kit is right now Uh, there's a lot of difference and i wish i had the same power uh, when i was applying I, maybe i could have got even a better university uh, i don't regret coming to stevens uh, so one more aspect i have seen is also do check with the seniors like always talk with seniors because there are some experiences which you may not be able to read anywhere um, network a lot and that will help you a lot more and get more information other than just uh, searching online i hope uh, to see you guys here in stevens you can contact me uh, maybe on linkedin or on facebook um ani sagrenni tayari mast kara kai tension ghew naka uh, especially people from mumbai and pune uh, i have seen a lot many people from there in uh, stevens and like in every uh, like every six people in the 10 are like marathi speaking so i'm glad uh, people from mumbai and pune are coming here to large extent and you won't be missing uh, if you come to stevens you won't be missing indian food a lot because uh, the new uh, indian street here in new jersey is has a lot many things what about kachi dabeli and ya sagla goshti mehtat so kahi tension nahi आणि एवढंच नाही तर गणपती ही इथे जोरात साजरा होतो म्हणजे मोठे मूर्ती वगैरे असतात तर तुम्हाला ढोल ताशा वगैरे सगळं अगदी न्यूयॉर्क सिटी आणि न्यू जर्सी दोन्हीकडे सगळं साजरा होत सो फुल ऑन धमाल असते सो तुम्हाला अशी एकदम घरची आठवण आली तरी काही इश्यू नाहीये यू कॅन एन्जॉय अ लॉट अँड ऑल्सो नवरात्री इज आय गेस इट इट्स क्वाईट फेमस हिअर इन Uh, all over us that the navratri celebrated to a large extent in new jersey so you won't be missing that and uh, all the best everyone for your preparation